You're looking at video of an actual Navy SEAL mission in Iraq. Highly trained warriors hunting down terrorists through high-risk operations and paying a hefty price. Mark's name actually means mighty warrior, and he definitely lived up to his name. Arizona's Mark Lee was the first SEAL killed in Iraq. His mother, Debbie, kept his memory alive through a charity she started called America's Mighty Warriors. The money raised helps the families of fallen military members. We're letting them know we have not forgotten the sacrifice of your loved one. On this day, Lee is hosting a fundraising event, something that sounds simple enough, but she and others have learned this is the type of event where soldiers and their families can become targets. Unfortunately, there are people that take advantage of that. Very often, we do not even have a time to bury our teammate. Thomas Jiren is a retired Navy SEAL who started his own charity to help former SEALs adjust back to civilian life. He told us it wasn't long before he ran into someone from Arizona who claimed he could help raise money and raise the charity's profile. He conned me into believing that he's a good man. If you look at his online profile, you get the idea that Graham Ware is a patriotic, internet savvy, my name is Graham Ware, mover and shaker. Pictures with local politicians and a soft spot for Navy SEALs. He helped raise thousands of dollars for three SEALs who were prosecuted and acquitted. But soon afterward, DeGeron says he noticed something odd. When did you start to believe something was wrong? When we find out that he purchased uh, websites very similar to the Navy SEALs charities. DeGeron says Ware copied the names of three established Navy SEALs organizations, including his own. These are the three established organizations, Navy SEAL Foundation, Navy SEALs Fund, and Support Our SEALs. These are the three DeGeron says Ware created. Navy SEALs Foundation, Navy SEAL Fund, and Support the SEALs. Other SEALs said the similarities had to be more than coincidental. They published a letter ordering where to cease and desist, accusing him of trying to hijack their websites and divert their donors. Graham Ware refused our repeated requests for an on-camera interview, saying he would only meet off-camera and off the record terms we would not agree to. But through email messages, he denied he did anything wrong, stated he gave up one of the web addresses at issue, and said any real disputes were resolved last year. Do you think he's still at this? Yes. As recently as last week, Debbie Lee said she had to take action against Ware, accusing him of using her organization's name without authorization. My lawyer had to drop some paperwork this week to do a cease and desist. A sad reality after defending the country overseas, these heroes have to defend themselves back home.